Yo, Yo news. news! Welcome to creamy red pepper delicious five minute pasta. So this is gluten free, it's vegan, it's no oil, and it's super quick and incredibly delicious. Right, first step, pan and high heat. We're well, using a wide bottom pan, we find them easier. Uh, and we've got an induction pan. Right, time started. So while that's heating up, we're gonna make our sauce. Into our blender, we have, so we have 100 grams of cashew nuts, which we soaked overnight. If you don't have time to soak them overnight, put them in a pan and boil them for about three to five minutes in boiling water. Are those most, raw or They're roast? raw cashew nuts. Next most important step is to drain and rinse them. Rinse them, you're gonna remove some of the acid uh, and make them just feel a little bit sweeter and a little more delicious. So the cashew nuts are gonna give that smooth, creamy texture to this sauce. So it's gonna be a, like a beautiful, creamy red peppery sauce. So 100 grams into a blender or a food processor, we've got 100 grams of soaked and rinsed cashew nuts. Mm. In on top of that, this, we're making this as simple as possible. We bought a jar of roasted red peppers. It's a 480 gram jar. We're gonna put in 100 grams of roasted red peppers. So about a third of this jar. So, so you buy them in any supermarket, roasted red peppers. Okay, juice of half a lemon, just put your hand over to catch any pips. We've got a teaspoon of salt. We're using uh, a sea salt but use whatever salt you have. 500 ml of oat milk or non-dairy milk of choice. A pinch of black pepper. I'm just grinding in a little bit. And a teaspoon of, oh, no, teaspoon. That's why you catch it in your hand. Uh, of garlic powder, just yeah. gonna make it a little easier. So lid on and we're just gonna blend until smooth. Okay, blend that until it's really nice and smooth. Beautiful level of viscosity. Okay, into our pan. We're gonna pour a little bit just to start, just on top of the pan. It will start to reduce by 300 grams of cooked pasta. I went with linguine, go with whatever type of pasta you like. And if you do wanna make it a little bit healthier, we've gone with gluten-free linguine. Use whatever type of pasta you like. Okay, I'm just gonna stir it around to the base of the sauce to start with. So we poured in half the sauce just to start with. Because as this cooks down, it's gonna kinda thicken and we wanna get the perfect degree of viscosity. I have some fresh basil leaves. Viscosity is a fancy term for um, its degree of, of thickness. thickness or fluidity. Thickness. Thickness, yeah, that's Like it. Stephen is not thick. <laughs> Stephen's very much not thick. Cool. So we're just gonna bring it to the boil and then reduce it until it comes to a nice, thick, beautiful temperature. So all we did is we simply brought it up to the boil. It's come to temperature. The sauce is thickened to a perfect level of viscosity. Look at that, creamy, delicious. Uh, simple ways of just garnishing it. Obviously, veganuary is starting, obviously, in January. This, the purpose of this dish is just to show you how simple and unintimidating vegan meals can be. If you do want to make it healthier, use wholemeal pasta. If you want to make it gluten-free, use gluten-free pasta. Simple little tips to take it from a good dish to a great dish. I have some toasted gomasio, or zaatar, or dukkah, or toasted seeds with spice mix. Toasted black some, sesame seeds would be lovely. Some flaked almonds. Bump. We put basil some basil leaves. through it and boom, we're bang and we're ready to go. Class dish, it's really simple. All the family will love this. Make this for your friends and they'll think you're fantastic. Yeah. Um, and this yeah. is oil free and gluten free. Yeah. So. And also if you're looking for a lot more recipes, we have a load of five minute dinners on our channel here. Uh, chickpea curry I think is the most viewed one with 1.8 wow. million views at the moment. But there's loads in there. So if you're looking for inspiration, it's quick mm. and easy. Do check them out. Excuse my mess, but it's very hot. Yeah. Uh, so, thanks. so tasty, so creamy, really well balanced. Absolutely delicious. Thank you for watching. Comment below if you make this. I'm wishing you all the best with Veganuary in ahead. Cheers! Cheers.